brothers and sisters in Christ. I am your brother Chris, Christ child, and we are here with another episode of C4J. That's right, cooking for Jesus. Can you smell it? As always, and as you know, we like to take food and the word of God and bring them together. And what a good match they are. Now today, I'm going to be making and preparing something special for you. It's a chicken and bacon wrap. Excuse me, I didn't know what it was, but as you can see, I have my ingredients here. I have my boneless chicken thighs that I already cut up and shredded. This was whole chicken thighs, but I cut it up. I also have some fresh tomatoes. I have my fresh purple onions. I also have some bell pepper of every kind, as you can see, look at this. Almost like a rainbow, just missing a few colors, right? And I have some avocado, I have my oil, I have some basil, I have some salt and pepper, and a special sauce that I promise you guys, you will want to taste. I can't tell you what's in it, but I promise you it's going to be good. Also, we have the main parts of this dish, our tortillas, our cheese, and our lettuce. So, I'm going to get started. I already have, well, I had my grease warming, so I'm going to go ahead on and put that back on. As I told you guys, I had my salt and pepper. This is the only thing I season my chicken with, is salt and pepper. All that other stuff you don't really need, and I do like tawnies, and I do like that other stuff, but salt and pepper, if I got this, you can do it wonders with this and anything. So, I'm gonna go ahead on and grab this. Also, I got my bacon right here. I don't know if y'all can see this. The pan is kinda hot still, but I took it out. I have I have already pre-cooked my bacon. It looks like it's cooked all the way. Mm, that's good. That is really, really good. That is some Manda style bacon. So if, you are, if we have any bacon fans out there, that Manda bacon is really, really good. You can do turkey. I know a lot of people don't like to do uh, pork bacon or whatnot. You can do a turkey uh, bacon as well. Now you see me here, I'm seasoning my chicken with this black pepper. And like I said, black pepper and salt is gonna be the only thing that I put on here because you don't need much. Especially with the seasoning. Now, I don't ever use measuring cups. Y'all, you guys know that I don't do measuring cups. I kind of like to keep it old school. My grandmother talking like that. Uh, we never used them. It, all, it always was was according to your liking. So if you was a salt fan, you you put your salt. If you was a, a black pepper pack fan, a garlic fan, or whatever it is, you can put how much you like. But uh, kudos to you guys that can use those cups and those measuring uh, things because that takes a lot of time and practice and I just don't have the patience for it. So anyway, and I'm just being honest. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys about Jesus. Just like my shirt say, as you know, this is the purpose of this show. So I just want to tell you about my Lord and Savior. He is awesome. The good thing about him is that I can skip over and tell you guys is he is getting ready to come back soon. To get his church, get his bride, get his remnant. And I pray that you are part of it. Matter of fact, I have a special guest today that I want to introduce right now. I was going to wait and save her. But speaking on this and speaking about Jesus, it just got me excited on why we do this anyway. So I'm going to introduce to you guys my beautiful wife, Prophet Ramon. And we come. How you doing? Hi. Hello, everyone. She's doing good. Are you? I am. Do you see what we got going on in here? She you smell that? Yeah. It smells good so far. Looking good. Hey, Amen. Now, woman of God, I'm not going to keep you because I know you're very busy. But I wanted you to be my special guest. Usually, I do a scripture. And matter of fact, I have one too. I didn't have my book today, but I have it on my phone. But I want you to help me with what God is speaking to your heart today. Now, you know, we love Jesus. And we love to cook. Amen. So, we're going to bring them both together. So, somebody else out there might not know Jesus, but they love to cook. You tell them what's on your heart. That can help them out. What's on my heart today is the scripture from 2 Timothy 1 and 6. Oh, that's a good one. It reminds us to stir up the gifts that are on the inside of us that has been given to us by the laying on of hands as this man of God, as he's stir and stirring these pots. I just want to remind you and encourage you to be stirred in the gifts that God has given you. Hey, as prophecy, wisdom, knowledge, healing. The gift of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, the verse of the spirit, whatever your gift is, Excuse me, woman, let God use you in that place. God, yeah. our Lord and Savior, He wants us to be stirred in those things, not let it settle down and rest and become null and void, but God wants you to use those gifts just like 
the man of God is using these that things and they combine them together. Let it be used for the glory of God to minister to others, to be a blessing to others, as this food will be a blessing to others. Let your gifts be a blessing to others as well. Wow, that is real encouraging, woman of God. And I want to just elaborate off of what she just said. Don't go nowhere just yet. I want to, she is ready to get away. Look, she want to give her word and go back by her business. Uh, but I want to tell you, 1 Peter 4, 10 also says, As each has received the gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God. You believe that? I believe. So she told you about the gifts. Don't just use your gifts. Use them for the glory of God and use them to help others. Use them to put others before yourself and watch God continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. We are living witness of it. We love putting people before ourselves. We love God. We love people. And not only that, God calls that humbling yourself. When you can humble yourself to put others before you, that you can lay down your life for your friends. Amen. That was a real awesome and encouraged. I hope y'all enjoyed that. You think they did? I think they did. I think they did too. Now you can go. We go. Now she's gone. All right. So I'm glad and all you guys know we was talking about the gifts. I believe there's many of you that's watching that have so many gifts locked up inside. I think properly so wonderful that uh, short encouragement. Um, because God is definitely moving and He is definitely uh, showing Himself mighty in the lives of His people today. Amen. I believe that God is even now pouring His Spirit out upon all flesh. That men are, be are beginning to prophesy, see vision, and dream dreams. I am a living witness of you guys again. So God is definitely doing a mighty thing in this season. Amen. But I'm going to get back to this cooking though. So as you can see, I burnt up a little bit of time too with that, my chicken. Simmering down, it's almost done. I'm gonna let that go for another maybe two, three minutes. But while I'm here, I can start taking these this plastic off of all of my bell peppers and onions and seasonings and everything. And this is gonna go in that pot. We're gonna kind of I didn't saute it down because we're gonna cook it with the chicken once the chicken is basically cooked. And then I'm gonna go ahead on and we're gonna dump this in in there and let that cook down and until then i want you guys to be blessed but we're going to be right back with c4j episode two cooking for jesus see you in a little all right we are back i told you it wasn't going to be long didn't i tell you i told you look now you can see i got my tortilla set right here so i'm going to go it on while my chicken is almost done i'm going to start setting this up for you guys now you guys can see i have some avocado i don't need that all anymore I have my tomatoes, I have my fresh lettuce and cheese, and we're going to go and put this thing together. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, I have some avocado, we're going to go ahead on and smear the avocado around the whole uh, wrap. I was about to say burrito. Mm -hmm. The whole wrap. So we put a little bit of avocado on each wrap, and you don't need much. You just need a little bit. Unless you're a real avocado lover, you don't need much avocado. I just started liking it. My my one of my uh my oldest son actually put me on it. And now I can't stop. I'm a lover of the avocado. But I don't need a lot of it. Whenever I'm doing avocado toast or whatever, I don't really use a lot of it. So you got your avocado. And let me take this off. This is not next one. We'll just pull that back. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of lettuce. You don't need much lettuce neither, neither unless. You love lettuce and you just a lettuce fan. You know, I'm not gonna knock it. That's, that's what you love, that's what you love. We have tomatoes. You take your two, I cut them up. It was whole tomatoes. I just cut them up in slices. And uh, you have your tomatoes, you put your tomatoes on that. And also, it's almost like a salad on a tortilla right now. And you put your cheese, you got your cheese on it as well. Now, now that we got that done, and this is all you need right here. A little bit of lettuce, cheese tomatoes the avocado this is the main uh, ingredients for this and like I told you this meal is quick it don't take up about maybe 20 minutes to put this thing together now as you can see I got my chicken cooked down I have my my, my uh, bacon in here cooked I have my bell peppers my onions cooked and now we're gonna go ahead on and we're gonna throw this onto these wraps I'm not gonna overload it, but I think this one needs a little bit more chicken on top. You see that? Look at that. And it's still not done. We gotta put our secret ingredient on it. Oh yeah, that looks good. Bring my 
my bacon out. All right, got my fire on. Put my top back on. Now, you guys can see that we have our two plates here, and I'm gonna call in my my judges now. Come on in, guys. Come on back in. Oh man, it's good to have you guys back. So. I'm gonna get on this side. You guys stand right there for me now. Right. Now you can see we have here. That looks good. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. And you put your special sauce on it. Put your sauce on top. Now this, I said you don't have to have much of everything else, but this sauce, you want to make sure you got that sauce on it. Excuse me. All right. Now we're gonna wrap this. You gotta wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Hands are washed. We wash hand sanitizer. Y'all know that. All right. So you wrap this thing, and I used to work at Taco Bell a long time ago, so I know how to wrap a little bit. So you wrap those wraps like that. Oh my God! Look, he's shaking over there. <laughs> Ready to eat. And uh, after you wrap your wraps, I'm gonna get my knife here. Oh man, this is the moment of truth right here. Look at that. Oh man. Oh man. It's about to go down. Like James Brown. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. Now, I'm going to get you your own individual plates. I want you to get one. Grab me one of those bad boys. Put them on your plate. Grab me one. Get on and grab them. We're gonna all eat together. We're gonna taste together. Grab me one mic. Now, for the moment of truth. Episode 2. Season 2. Cooking for Jesus. Chicken and bacon wraps. Y'all ready? Alright. We're gonna do it on three. One. Well, let's bless the food first. Lord, bless the food and bless the hands that prepare and allow it to bless our bodies and give us strength and nourishment in Jesus' name. Y'all agree with that? Amen. All right, let's eat. Episode 2 is done. Bye. We're going to finish this. Oh my God.